I'm Paul Antonio, Master Scribe and Creative Director of Paul Antonio Scribe. I've been doing calligraphy for 25 years. My clients include Tiffany, Joe Malone, the BAFTAs, British Museum. How to draw calligraphy pictures. Quite well, an odd title because um, calligraphy itself can be pictorial, so you can make something out of calligraphy called a calligram, where you take the structure of the lettering, and let's say you're talking about a cat, or it's a poem about a cat. You can do the whole outline of the cat in the lettering, and so that's essentially a calligraphy picture. What I'm going to look at is I'm going to look at how to draw bits of decoration and pictures, or pictorial decoration, that is generally associated with calligraphy. So what I've done here is I've done a, a letter Q using a, a type of letter form called a Lombardic letter. And I'm going to outline and inline the letter. And once that's done, I'm then going to start playing with the letter itself. So I'm using um, one of the manuscript pen company nibs because I need a really fine nib for outlining. And then I'm going to do an internal border. And then I am going to do another border. So I'm using a typical sort of paisley pattern from the Middle Ages. And just by creating this little bit of indentation, these are called invected lines. If you know anything about heraldry. So you get a really nice, delicate bit of decoration. The other thing we can do is we can actually block an area in. So let's take this C, and we're going to block the C in. Now this would usually be done in raised gold, and that would be an outline. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to block this in some more by basically making a series of internal borders. And once the borders overlap, I can then start working alongside basic geometric shapes. So we're going to work in this corner up here and we're going to make something called a trefoil because it's a flower with three lobes. Now most people think this, this type of decoration is very difficult. What you must remember about this kind of decoration is do not look at the decoration and be confounded by its complexity. Look at its absolute simplicity underneath the complexity. So you might want to get a piece of tracing paper and put it over a letter. Don't press too hard with your pencil, you can damage the book. So, how do you make a trefoil out of a triangle? First thing you do is you make three little triangles. Right? And then you make a pollen ball. And you can see it starting to take shape. And then very carefully make a gentle little swooping curve. You find this kind of thing quite a lot in ornamentation from the Gothic period as well as ornamentation from the Gothic Revival. And so this is quite an important aspect of flourishing, which is where you turn the page, because if you keep the page static, you're going to have to turn yourself. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just some little wavy lines to indicate that the, the petals are not flat and there you have a trefoil. You can then make the trefoil. Let's take the center, and we can turn the center into a quatrefoil. Notice how I'm using my arm to pivot and work around, and again we go back to the little triangles. And you can see quatrefoil. Now fortunately, this manuscript pen company nib is also slightly flex flexible. So it allows you to really play with the shape and add weight to the thing, which makes it just a little bit more alive. I'm making these little over loops. So it looks like the petals are actually looping over each other, one going underneath the other. And there we have a simple trefoil. And essentially, that is how you use decorative pictorial art alongside calligraphy.